What up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, JPZ. It's a Sunday, you know. Take it kind of light today on a Sunday, kicking back, doing some live betting, man. For my play of the day, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Because what I'm going to give you guys is, I'm going to give you my play of the day, but I'm going to tell you right off the bat, that's not the bet that I'm making. So I'm going to tell you my play of the day, and I'm also going to tell you what I'm betting. And uh, you can look at both of those angles, uh, you know, because this is really about sharing the information with you on these games, breaking them down. You know, I don't ever let anyone tell me how to bet, but I appreciate people giving their breakdowns on the game. I'll decide how I want to bet it. That's why I like to listen to people's breakdowns on the games because I like to see how other people are looking at how this game is played because I take all that information and I come up with how I want to use that information to make my bets. Like, I never just tell people's bets, you know. But anyway, I was looking at the Atlanta Braves today as uh, the play that I wanted to make, you know. But them being like minus 220 favorites, you got to kind of find ways to be creative to uh, get behind uh, – what you think is going to be a winner, you know? So you got a team that, you know, fuck, Max Freed is on the mound. He's a lefty uh, playing against the Marlins. Marlins aren't really hitting lefties. Uh, you, you see the Braves coming out with the win today. So I was digging around, you know, to find a way to match this up with something solid to, to be able to take this this win home by backing the Braves. And it's another early game, man. I'm looking at the Cincinnati Reds uh, playing the San Francisco Giants. Now, typically, this uh, early morning game, both of these teams, you know, the Reds' offense has been lacking a little bit. You know, Giants, sometimes they put a ton of runs on the board. But on the road, early morning game, you would think that this game would probably play to the under. And uh, so I was looking at... Uh, Taking that under, market suggests the game's going to go under. They're facing the lefty. The Reds are facing the, a lefty, excuse me. And they're betting like 159 against the lefties in the last 10 games, man. So this game just screams under. I mean, it screams under so loud that that's my play of the day. Cincinnati Reds, San Francisco Giants, under nine. I think the only reason you're getting such a high uh total at nine it's because they're playing at a uh, great american ballpark you know that little short ass field where g games are often assumed that they're gonna go over just because uh of where it's being played at but you look at uh, the reds all their sunday games have gone under nine not all of them but them, like 80% of their games on Sundays have gone under nine. Giants, that's my play of the day. Under nine, Reds, Giants. Uh, it's minus 120. It's like I said, the market suggests that this game is going to go under. So that's my play of the day. Giants, Reds, under. That's not the bet I'm making, though. I'm tacking this on with the Braves because I I'm trying to go for the for the big cash man. It's a light day on Sunday. I'm playing the Braves, Reds, Giants under for a little two team or parlay. But uh, for my play of the day, Reds, Giants under nine. It's your boy JPZ. Let's get that money and I'm out.